fill that one in the morning. Yeah. Today I got the Okai Neon Pro. A little bit more than your entry level scooter. Falls in the same price range as the Segway Max. It's got a very smooth ride, some cool looking lights. I'm gonna tell you all about it. First starting with a speed test. Change the speed modes, just double tap the power button. There's three modes, walk mode, medium, and high. Got about 90% battery life. This is E mode first, this is the walk mode. As you'd expect, not even registering on my speed app. On medium, that's 10 miles an hour. 1920 for high, it bounces back and forth. Got about 80% battery life. Speed mode three, high speed mode. In the app, you can switch it from a zero to a non-zero start. I do have it set to a zero start. Here we go. Pretty slow off the line. Takes about 10 feet for it to really ramp up, but then it actually gets going pretty good. 16, 17, slowly climbing up to 19, 20. There's 18, 19, we'll call it quits there. You know, it's about uh, two blocks to hit 19 miles an hour. Time. Scooter has a hill climbing ability up to 25%. Got a full battery on the highest speed mode. At the steepest point, it gets about 12% grade. Come around this corner and this is the steepest, this is the trickiest section here. And it's kicking butt, 13 miles an hour. About a three block long hill and I'm here. You could definitely tackle something a lot steeper than this if you're my weight. As far as brakes go, there's electronic in the front wheel, disc in the back. So going 20 miles an hour, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! They engage quick, nice good skid mark about uh, 20, 25 feet. Very controlled and smooth braking. That's a first range test done. App recorded 18.39 miles with 543 feet elevation gain. And overall, maybe had about 13, 14 stops. I'm gonna charge it up and do range test number two. That wraps up race test two. My app recorded 15.96 miles with 743 elevation gain, which is about three miles less than the first range test and exactly 200 feet elevation more than the first range test. If you rode it just kind of average, you could get around 16, 17 miles with around 400 feet elevation gain. Hey puppy dogs, all just sweet. All right guys, we're going over the stats and specs of the scooter. Uh, it weighs 43 pounds, can carry right up to 220 pounds, has a one click folding mechanism, just pull that latch out folds down, locks into place, just grab it by the stem. Not too bad to carry around. Then to fold it back up, just push it down. Really simple and easy, I like that design. Has an integrated kickstand, folds into the frame. As far as the look and design, looks pretty standard to a lot of scooters in this price range. Fender in the front and the rear. No reflectors on each side of the front wheel. As far as the handlebar length, a little bit narrow for my frame. I wish there was another two to three inches, but the grips feel nice. They're stationary, a little bit large as well. I like the stem height, I'm 5'11", and you know, I can reach past the grips about seven, eight inches. They say you can fit a rider up to 6'6". I think you'd be okay if you were that tall. The stem is angled back a little bit, not much. There's still a lot of room between the handlebars and my waist. So if you hit a rough patch or if you wanna go a little bit faster, you want a more aggressive riding stance, you got room to crouch down to lower your center of gravity to gain more stability. Standing straight up, it positions you in the middle of the scooter so you got really nice balance. As far as balance goes, guys, uh, it's very smooth. I can easily take my hand off the handlebars which is quite a feat for something this light. Very easy to manage and control. I always like the handling on something this light. It's also a very quiet ride. There's no noise coming from the motor. The only vibrating or thing making noise is this bell. I like the deck, seven inches wide. I've got size 10 and a half shoe. You know, putting it one in front of the other, it goes up on that back wheel about six, seven inches. But I don't ride like that. My, this is my normal riding stance. And as far as that goes, there's plenty of room there. Got room to kind of move around. If you're a rider that puts their feet side by side, my shoes are hanging off the side about three inches on both sides. And there is a silicon pad they added. It's textured, so you do have some grip. So on the front wheel, there's a 350 watt nominal, 700 watt peak motor. And that's powered by an internal 48 volt 
14.7 amp hour lithium car grade battery, which takes six hours to recharge. It's got two 10 inch air filled tires, which have done pretty good for the trails that I've taken this on. Not a lot of vibration going on in the eyeballs. I'm gonna cross this wood bridge, give you an idea of how bumpy it is. You can hear my voice, it's shaking and vibrating a little bit. Let me do that one more time. These are like the nastiest bridges ever. And uh, yeah, you got a little bit of uh, vibration in the, in the voice, but not too bad. And there's no suspension, but yet it's still a pretty comfortable ride. Uh, this is definitely something you can kind of rally around, take off a curb, kind of a hard hit, but everything sounded pretty good. Let me do one more of those. Three, two, one. Yeah. That's actually, that handles that really well. So along the handlebars, again, there's just one brake lever, a flick bell next to that, power button. You press it once, the lights come on. Got a nice bright headlights, tail lights. When you hit the brake lever, that tail light does flash. And there's some really cool ambient lights on each side of the deck. In the app, you can change the color of those lights. There's a color wheel, so you got a lot of options. One of the cool things about the scooter that I haven't seen before is you can change the display. This is the technology display. That's the classic. And then they call this one minimalism. If you can't see that very well, here's a different look at the different display options you have. This is the home screen to the app, so it gives you battery life. You can lock the scooter. You can track it. This is the track button, GPS, ride history, diagnostics, going through all the checks, battery information, feedback, ride settings. Then again, you can change the units, turn the cruise control on and off. Then you can add an NFC key. Just tap it to the dashboard, will lock and unlock your scooter. And that's pretty much it with the app and everything on the handlebars. Overall, my favorite feature with the Pro has gotta be the, the ride, the feel. Uh, it's got a smooth ride, one of the best in this price range. If you wanna pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.